Hey everybody, it's Jason. Here at Dennis Carpenters, a question we get often is how to rebuild the clutches on a Cushman motor scooter. Today I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step process on how to rebuild the clutch for a Silver Eagle. And these are the tools you're going to need to complete this project. Safety glasses or goggles, a ball peen hammer, a punch, a feeler gauge, needle nose pliers, an 11 16 wrench, a 9 16 wrench, a 7 16 wrench, an air ratchet if available, or a standard 3 8 ratchet, a 7 16 socket, and a 3 quarter inch socket. Now that you have your tools gathered, let's get started. The first step is to remove the clutch from the transmission, and we do this by loosening the belt. removing the cotter key from the clutch arm, removing the throwout bearing, and removing the three quarter inch lock nut from the shaft. Once these steps are completed, we can remove the clutch from the shaft. Because the shaft and clutch plate are splined, it may take a few tugs to break it free. Now that we've got our clutch off the Silver Eagle and on our workbench, we're going to remove the bolts and take it apart. Now that we've removed the bolts, we're going to disassemble the clutch. We're going to remove the pulley, the flange, the outer plate, the disc. Now we'll remove the springs that sit in these little pockets. And then finally we'll remove the back plate out of the basket. Now using a 716 socket we'll remove this retainer that's holding the bearings in. Now that we've got it apart, we need to remove the bearings from the flange. There's two bearings and a spacer. You can get these out either using an arbor press or hammer and punch, and I'm gonna show you both methods. Now that we're at the arbor press, we'll load it and press our bearings. In our bench vise, we'll set our flange, use a punch and a heavy hammer, and remove the bearings. Now that everything is disassembled, we will need to inspect all the parts for damage and wear. I like to start this by washing all the parts in solvent, and then by bead blasting. This will let us see any cracks or hidden damage. If you do not have access to a bead blaster, you can omit this step. By washing and sandblasting the parts first, you can find hidden damage that you wouldn't find otherwise, like this cracked clutch plate. Now that we've got all the parts painted and ready to go, we're going to press the new bearings in, keeping in mind the small hole bearing goes in first. All right, first the small hole bearing. Then the spacer and the large hole bearing. Again, you can use either the hammer and punch method or an arbor press if available. Now we'll reinstall the bearings. The small hole bearing goes in first. Then the spacer, and 
then the large hole back. First, we need to reinstall the bearing retainer onto the clutch flange using three quarter inch bolts. We'll start with the clutch basket and add the rear plate, and then add the three springs that sit in three little groups. Next, the clutch plate which has a special center spline. The back side is large, front side is small. The large side has to face down and face the transmission. Now we'll add the outer clutch plate, just like that. Next we'll add the bolts to use as a guide to hold the shims. Every clutch varies. I like to start out with two shims per bolt. Next is the outer flange. Just put it over the bolts. Then set the pulley on top. Now we'll push the bolts up and through. Put a lock washer and a nut on each one. Next step is to tighten all the bolts and check for clearance. Now that we've got all the bolts tight, we need to check our clearance, and we'll do that by checking the clearance between the inner plate and the outer plate, and it should measure between 1 32nd and 3 32nd. Now that I've checked my clearance and everything checks out, I'm ready to reinstall it on the scooter. If there's excessive oil on your clutch, you need to check your transmission seals. On our scooter, you can see it's been leaking really bad. Oil leaking into the clutch will cause the clutch to slip or the plates to swell. So that has to be remedied first. Next, we will reinstall the clutch onto the transmission by lining up the splines on the floating plate with the input shaft on the transmission. Now we will replace the three quarter inch nut and install the throw up bearing. Next, we will reinstall the belt and adjust the tension. After that, we will reattach the release arm and set the free play on the arm to 5 16 inch clearance by using a 5 16 inch bolt as a guide. And that's how to rebuild the clutch on your Silver Eagle. We hope this video shows you just how easy it is to do this job and you get your scooter back on the road. And these are the parts we use to rebuild our clutch. 813-303 clutch discs, 879-032-N clutch plate, 813-304 clutch springs, 813-305 clutch shims, 813-307 inner clutch bearing, and 813-308 outer clutch bearing. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips, tricks, and installation videos.